COVID-19 has shut down events across Central Texas for months, leaving musicians and vendors across the region in desperate need of money and opportunity. Now, as Texas continues to reopen, they're more hopeful to come back even stronger. 25 News reporter Jack Allen explains. Venues like the Exchange Event Center in McGregor have been quiet for months, with COVID-19 limiting the number of people allowed inside. All these things that they've worked so hard for for years is slowly, I say slowly, it's very quickly dying. Saturday, the music returned loud and strong as loaded sound, along with several other vendors hosted Back to the Music, a concert fundraiser raising money for victims of Hurricane Laura. This is life and death for a lot of uh, companies. Uh, and a lot of musicians, they they absolutely need events to happen again. The concert featured eight local bands who shared the stage in front of a socially distanced crowd. We had such a great response from people that went. And if you weren't comfortable going, we also live streamed the event. And we had a lot of really good response for that as well. The event is a sign of life for an industry largely down on its luck during the pandemic. I think what we're going to see when things open back up we're going to see a music scene like you've never seen ever. So I think that's really special. Sunday, several artists and promoters came together to watch the latest episode of Texas Music Cafe, aired on KXXV, which features local artists and venues across Waco. For some, it was their first chance to see other artists in months. The goal was initially to bring the, the diverse music scene together. And anytime we can do that now in this moment is very special. Organizers say they hope the event in McGregor can serve as a blueprint for other venues to keep the music rocking all year long. Jack Allen, 25 News, McLennan County. Jack, thank you. Organizers say they came up just shy of their $2,000 goal. You can find the link to donate for hurricane victims on our website, kxxv.com.